Hey everybody, Chris here, and I am flying to Panama tonight to go to the Stem Cell Institute next week. Now, I am very excited about my journey, but I thought I would detail some of the facts leading up to my journey out to Panama. Now, most people who go to the Stem Cell Institute start their reviews when they're in Panama, and they talk about the proceedings and how everything is handled there, and how the results are afterwards. So I thought I would talk about what happens leading up to my trip to Panama. And so far, it hasn't been that great of an experience, but all in all, this is just a drop in the bucket if the stem cells actually work. I just kind of found that it wasn't that professional of an operation leading up to my journey out to Panama. And part of that is because I think I've talked to like six or seven different people and I feel like nobody has any idea what the other person is talking about. Like communication is not that good. So let me start with this email. And this is what I have agreed to with Karen. Karen's who I talked to originally. And they know I want some local injections. She goes ahead and tells me that it's 375 for local injection. 23,150 for the IV drip. And then also that you get a complimentary five night stay at the Hilton. Uh, VIP service at the airport, uh, free internet and all that. So I go ahead and agree to that. Now in order to hold the dates that you want, you have to send an $800 deposit. So I went ahead and sent the $800 deposit and that was all good. And then after I lock down those dates and sent the deposit, keep in mind this is after I've already sent them $800, William contacts me and he's the concierge guy that kind of handles all the accommodations and the logistics of moving you from the airport to the hotel. And he's uh, informed me that I'm only getting four nights at the Stem Cell Institute. Now, this doesn't make a lot of sense because I already pounded out with Karen that I'm getting five nights. So when I see I'm getting four nights, this is not a very good sign since I've already agreed to five nights. And I've already sent the deposit based on the fact that I'm getting five nights. Now, all in all, when you're spending close to $30,000, one night isn't that big of a deal, but I don't like to get nickeled and dimed. And I certainly don't like the terms of the contract to get changed after I've already sent them money. So I've gone ahead and emailed William and said, look, I've already talked to Karen about this and we have five nights on, on the deal, not, not four nights. And in addition to that, if you're getting four days of treatment, the Stem Cell Institute requires you to be there one day before your treatment begins and stay one day after. So if you're getting four days of treatment, you have to be there for six total days. And six total days means you need five nights of hotel. So I'm not even sure, based on their own policy, why I would only be getting four nights. So I went ahead and you know, sent a screenshot to William saying, hey, look, we've already agreed to five nights. And he went ahead and said, okay, no problem. We'll go ahead and book you for the five nights without any extra charge. And th this is the email that I sent him. So I basically just say, hey, which the email to Karen clearly says I'm getting five nights and not four. So William agreed, no problem. All right, so now moving on. So I wanted to get local injections. You can see in the first email I am talking about it and Karen is getting back to me on the price of local injections. And I'm assuming someone's gonna contact me because I sent them my name and email as instructed, or name, phone number, as instructed by Karen and nobody has reached out to me. I was expecting a phone call, nobody got back to me. So after, this is the November 12th, so you can see the previous email was on the 3rd, and I think I was talking to Karen even before that. So you're looking at 10, 12 days, and nobody has reached out to me since I sent them my contact details to talk about my treatment. So I don't like it when I have to follow up with them a second time to get them to do what they're supposed to do. So I send an email to Karen saying, hey, I'm still wondering about local injections. I want to receive at least five local injections, yet I'm not quite sure how to determine which ones of those that I will receive. And um, I was expecting a doctor conversation, and it, but I said, you know, how do I make sure I get those and pay for them ahead of time? Because I'm flying out there, I wanna make sure everything's locked down. I just don't like the fact that I gotta follow up with you so I get the treatment that I want. You know, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, um, for, for me, that's kind of a, a not a good sign. So, um, 
Karen gets back to me. She says, sorry for the delay. I am following up with the doctors on your questions. There is a request in for the doctor to contact you. Okay. Well, that should have that should have been there like almost two weeks ago. But nonetheless, they're, they are getting back to me. So that's good. So the doctor does call me. And I have about a 20-minute conversation with the doctor. And it goes good. And the doctor doesn't really know how much things cost. Now, I have... A lot of problems and I could go nuts and just get injections everywhere but I don't want to do that I want to see you know based on my pain which things do I want to get and how much is each injection because the local injection is 375 now I was originally thinking okay I get one in my knee one in my shoulder but it turns out they want to do like four local injections in my knee so 375 is now becoming expensive when it's 375 times four and then 375 times four in my shoulder so okay uh, I don't think I want to get everything you know the 120 million stem cells that I'm getting in the IV drip I expect it's going to take care of a lot so I want to know can I get two in my knee two in my shoulder you know how, how and how much is each thing going to cost so I don't get any of the costing sent to me uh, but they do get back to me with kind of the treatment that we talked about. Now this doesn't have, um, this has, well this basically has everything we talked about um, in our discussion. Now I wanted to not get everything because it's expensive. Now it's 28,725. There's a couple things I could probably cut out, uh, but I would like to know what each thing costs so I can make an educated decision on what to cut out. And also, because I'm getting a hip injection, this is a different type of injection. These cost, I know now these cost 2,550. So these are expensive injections. Uh, and they also require an extra day. So because now my treatment is five days, um, I am now included six nights at the Hilton. So you can see here, they're, they're increasing my stay at the Hilton to six nights because now my treatment length has been extended from four days to five days. Uh, so I send an email and I say, you know, this isn't the final treatment. I want to itemize list of services like the doctor told me I would receive so I can make my decision. Um, and I send this to the collections and basically I'm expecting to get an itemized list of how much each thing I'm, I'm getting is going to cost. And I get a response from an Abraham saying, our treatments are offered as a complete service for a single fee. Therefore, we have no basis for allocating fees to each specific faucet of the treatment. As such, items are not offered on an individual basis. So this is kind of shocking because I have talked to probably about five different people before this, at least a handful of them. And uh, everyone has talked about the price per thing. So I've talked about, you know, I know shoulder injections, I believe are 1,550. Hip injections are 2,550. The, the intermuscular things are 375. So this is a shock. I've, I've never heard this before from, from anyone. So I'm trying to get an itemized list of what each thing costs so I can make a best decision on how to allocate my money for my treatment. Abraham's telling me, hey, they don't do that. So that's kind of a disappointing email. Um, so I write back basically saying, hey, I've been told, you know, that I could get an itemized list the whole time. So I'm not sure what you're talking about. So I don't, I don't like it when there's not a cohesive message. Like if one person is telling me one thing and another person is telling me something else, that speaks to disorganization. And I don't, I don't really like that. And we already had the problem with booking the hotel room. There was disorganization. We had one person telling me I'm going to get five nights. Now they're telling me I'm only going to get four nights. So I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I do get another email from Tabitha who basically says, Abraham, the guy that told me I couldn't get an itemized list, is now off the case. And someone else called me and we talked about it and I got a detailed list of how much everything costs. So... Uh, that was good and I believe we were all set so I had I had the service I was gonna get and um, it was gonna be two in the back one in the knee and one in the hip and then the 120 million IV drip so um, I was happy 
uh, that was the final decision and uh, we were all set so then I get an email from William again saying hey the sixth night you know is going to be a hundred and twenty nine dollars even though we know from before that the sixth night was included because I got the extra service and that extra service is two thousand five hundred and fifty bucks so the fact that they include the extra night for that service is just a drop in the bucket. I assume I'm already paying for it. But yet again, William reaches out saying, hey, I got to pay now for another hotel room. I tell him, okay, look, <laughs> I sent him the same screenshot saying, hey, I ironed this out with Karen. She told me the sixth night was included. And if I, let me see if I can find that one. So here it is. Yep. So the complimentary six night stay at the Hilton. So it's already included. I basically sent him this screenshot and then he agreed again that uh, you know they would go ahead and pick that up but the fact that I have to do these things is you know not what I'm looking to do I, I wish that they had all their stuff together so I didn't have to then say hey this other person is telling me one thing you're telling me something else this should already you know they've been in business for a couple of decades almost so this stuff should already be ironed out so then finally we pound everything out and everything's finalized I send them the money and then after I send them the money, a day later, they send me a bunch of stuff and a couple of contracts in there. So one of the contracts is that I must agree to let them use any information I provide about my treatment in their study. Now, it's not a big deal. I don't mind doing that. But I feel like if you're going to present me with a contract, I should know those details before I send you the money. right? So I got to sign this contract and send it back to them if I want to get the treatment. But it's not something they give me until after I send the money. So that's, I've never done contracts like that. Usually contracts you get ahead of time. You agree to them, you sign them, you send the money, and then the contract's finalized. You don't send the money and then get the contract sent to you. So I don't like that. And then there's another contract of the services you're going to receive. And this, again, comes after I've already sent them the full payment. And if I put this up right here, uh, if you know from previous emails that I got um, I'm getting two injections in my back and one in my knee so and they're 2.5 million each and you can see here this is actually wrong so I just got this yesterday and um, I'm, I'm leaving in a few hours to go to Panama and the contract that they sent me after I have sent them the payment has the wrong treatment in it so I couldn't sign this to send back to them um, so I'm not sure how again I mean, we, I've had phone conversations with them and then, you know, I had that conflict with Abraham and then finally someone got back to me and we, we ironed out exactly what I was going to get. It was all done. I sent the payment for that. And then a day before I leave, they send me this contract, which has the treatments wrong. Um, so a little disappointing. Now, I want to be clear. I can deal with all this stuff. Um, as long as the treatment works, but it's not necessarily a good sign. Um, I would much prefer that they had their act together a little bit more. Um, it does give me a little bit of concern um, if they're not running their business in such a good way. Um, I hope that's not a reflection on the treatment I'm going to get. Um, but you know, I've already I've already sent them the money, um, and other people seem to have a good response. So hopefully, uh, the medical benefits of this are far exceeding their business practices. Um, and I'm still hopeful, um, but it has been an experience that was a little challenging just to get to the point when I fly out. And hopefully, when I get there, they'll adjust my treatment correctly because they seem to have it wrong as of right now. So. That's my experience leading up to it, and I'll report how things go once I arrive in Panama.